So what we have here is a situation where you want to add some extra text to the checkout. That can be for a number of reasons, either because you want to translate it into a different language or localize it for your language, or because in this case we want to say, hey, this is a pre-order, your goods won't be delivered for a while. Are you really sure you want to go with, ahead with this order? So first of all, what we're, to, what we're working on here is the new Shopify checkout. You'll want to be sure that you're working with that, otherwise these instructions won't work. Um, so first, how do we make sure of that? We go into checkout. If you aren't currently using the responsive checkout, instead of saying responsive checkout up here, you'll get a do you want to upgrade message, and you'll have to click, click that if you want to use the new checkout options. Once you've done that, um, you can go down to checkout language and we've already got an active checkout here but what you'll say is create a new translation and then select your language and save it. Once you've done that what you can do is um, go through and edit and uh, create the settings or in this case I'm going to show you how to edit them. Basically the same process. To edit them go into themes And you'll see under, you have to click into customize theme here. And one of the options you'll be given up in the top, when this works, is edit the language. So first of all, you go into settings, check out and create a new language. And then once you've done that, you can edit the language further. And it is a bit of a trial and error to see where things are. So this is the active language. We'll click into US English and we'll scroll down and there's lots of different things you can change. Don't go crazy. I mean, it's designed like this for a reason, but what we've said here is instead of just saying order summary, we've said you are purchasing this for delivery later, order summary. So it's a way you can sneak some extra text into the checkout. And then just make sure that whatever changes you make, you save. And then if you go into a live checkout and refresh, you will see your changes reflected here. So, for example, for this site, when the goods are ready for delivery, um, you can simply go in and remove that text from the translation using this method. But once again, just remember you will have to have upgraded to the modern checkout, to the, to the latest version of the checkout. If you've created your site in 2015, don't worry about that. It will be done by default for you. It's only sites that were created in 2014 and earlier that will need that upgrade done.